International Math Olympiad 2013 Problem 4 Let ABC be an acute angle triangle with ortho center H and let W be a point on the side BC lying strictly between B and C. The points M and N are the feet of the altitudes from B and C respectively. Denote by W1 the circumcircle of BWN and let X be the point on W1 such that WX is a diameter of W1. Analogously, denote by W2 the circumcircle of CWM and let Y be the point on W2 such that WY is a diameter of W2. Prove that X, Y and H are collinear. This problem appears to be easier than problem 3. It takes less steps to prove its statement. This diagram shows triangle ABC and its orthocenter H at the intersection of altitudes CN and BM. And point W between vertices B and C lies on two circumcircles, BWN as in Nancy and CWM as in Mary. Let's denote by letter Z the other point of intersection of these two circles. This diagram shows points X and Y such that WX is the diameter of the first circumcircle with center O1 and WY is the diameter of the second circumcircle with center O2. We have also connected centers O1 and O2 with a straight line segment and we have connected points X and Y with a straight line segment and connected points Z and W. Since O1 is the midpoint of segment XW, O2 is the midpoint of segment YW and point O is the midpoint of segment ZW, we can conclude that straight line that goes through points X, Z and Y is parallel to line O1, O2 and since line O1, O2 is perpendicular to line segment ZW, line segment XY is also perpendicular to the line segment ZW. Notice that we don't know anything about the line segment AZ. We don't know yet if AZ and W are collinear but we know that X, Y and Z are collinear. If we prove that angle HZW is the right angle, that will prove that points X, Y and H are collinear. All our proof will be based on one geometric fact. If a chord in a circle subtends two angles inscribed in the same circle from the same side, then these two angles have equal measurement. And if that chord subtends two different angles inscribed in the same circle from two different sides, then these two angles are supplementary, meaning that the sum of their measurements is 180 degrees. On this drawing, angle NW is a chord of the first circle and this chord subtends angle NZW on one side and angle B of triangle ABC on the other side so that these two angles are supplementary. Analogously, line segment MW, which is a chord of the second circle, subtends angle MZW on one side and angle C of triangle ABC on the other side, so that these two angles are supplementary. Thus, the sum of angles NZW and MZW is 360 degrees minus B minus C and angle NZM has measurement B plus C. It implies that quadrilateral ANZM has two opposite angles A and angle NZM that are supplementary and therefore this quadrilateral is cyclic. On the other hand, notice that two right triangles BMC and BNC have the same hypotenuse BC which implies that the quadrilateral BCMN is cyclic with BC being the diameter of their circumcircle. 
Line segment NC is a chord of that circumcircle, and it subtends angle NMC on one side and angle B of triangle ABC on the other side, so that angle NMC is 180 degrees minus B, which implies that its supplementary angle AMN has the same measurement as B. If we recall now that quadrilateral AMZN is cyclic, then two angles AMN and AZN are subtended by the same chord AN, which proves that angle AZN has the same measurement as angle B. We can also recall that angle NZW is 180 degrees minus B which implies that the total of angles NZA and NZW is 180 degrees, which proves that AZW is a straight line. Now let's finally deal with orthocenter H. Since HNA and HMA are two right angles, we can conclude that the quadrilateral ANHM is cyclic. Since we know that ANZM is cyclic, and since triangle AMN has only one circumcircle, we can conclude that the pentagon ANHZM is cyclic. And since HMA is the right angle, the chord that subtends this angle, AH, is the diameter of the circumcircle of this pentagon, and therefore the HZA is the right angle. Since we have proved that AZW is a straight line, it proves that point H is collinear with points Z, X, and Y.